previously on the dragon ship. Glenn, there was something else that occurred. Something else occurred early on. And we alluded to it. This man had the nicest beard. It was so beautiful. It was dyed in such a perfect pattern. Not a white. He would chop wood like nobody else. The wood chopping and the ability to suck people in, shall we say, men in particularly, redhead women, and then the ability to go on on national TV and speak at all these things. Some talent, but talk about some crash and burn. Uh, Let's talk about yeah, Murphy as an event. Let me let me explain this. Can I, let me let me let me talk about this now. But Jack Murphy, Jack Murphy did good for this space to a degree. Like this man was really on some great talking points. He was speaking facts. The problem is, is that when he got exposed for the things that he did in his private life, he tried to deny, deflect, and just ignore those things and you know what you do behind closed doors is your own business all right if it's not congruent with what you're preaching well then now you're gonna have to ask the questions to them what he simply should have just said is like look i'll fuck you both okay your girl and you at the same time and just own this shit he should have owned who he was and own what he did and everybody probably would have done a lot better in accepting what him but his problem with it is, is that he tried to deny, deflect, and, you know, ignore. And mm-hmm. you know what? It's not being congruent. It's not being true to himself. And if you, anybody in the space, look, we all have skeletons in our closet. We all have made mistakes in our lives, you know? And I could say for myself, I made mistakes in my life. And until you are ready to own that and be like, you know what? This was a period in my life. I dropped the ball here. Or, you know what? I was exploring things here. I was not aware of everything. I tried it out, didn't like it, moved on, whatever the case is. But to hide behind, to hide from it, to ignore it, to dismiss it, you only put yourself in a position like he did where he ended up canceling himself. I don't think anybody canceled him. I think he canceled himself by not being man enough to face the music. Um. <clears throat> I'll say this about Jack. I've known Jack now for several years personally, and uh, every interaction I've had with him is always he's always added value to my life. He's always been a decent human being. Um, I think you're 100 percent correct. And kind of some of the comments in the chat, too, as well. You know, full disclosure, man, you know, you have a lifestyle that you live in your private life and you choose to put that online. You're at risk when you operate in this space. And so I think that, uh, you know, his personal choices and his personal habits those are his, that's his personal business. Okay. I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily kind of like what Glenn was saying. I'll fuck you both. <laughs> I mean, I, you can't put it any more eloquently than that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but what I'm trying to tell you as a man is the interactions that I've had with him as a man. Um, he's always added value. His book was solid. I think that um, it's unfortunate. And there's a lot of things that precipitated that whole thing. I mean, obviously with 21 con and we don't do hit pieces on this channel, Right. But um, the, the gentleman that runs 21 con, uh, you know, obviously has a lot of people working around him or for him and, and feeding him a lot of information. And a lot of that stuff, you know, was dug up by those individuals as a smear campaign uh, on Jack. Now, once again, Jack's personal life is his personal life. And uh, that's one that's a good lesson for all of us here yes. uh, on this stream is, you know, if you have something always remember this. If the dirt comes out in the wash, I do not care how deep the dirt goes. It comes out. When you run it through the washing machine, it comes out. And, and that's, that's the lesson behind this situation is once you become a public figure, and obviously we're going to talk about other public figures as we move through this stream. I think that uh, Jack's uh, inability to maintain um a level of anonymity in his personal life and it crossed over into his public life is the fundamental issue here. Um, you know, yes. you know, and so, you know, if, if, if that's what floats your boat, that's what floats your boat. I mean, I'm not going to fault someone for, you know, being gay. I'm not going to fault someone for being lesbian. I'm not going to fault someone for being heterosexual. That's their personal business. It's the information inside those people that's what matters to me. 
I am 100% on board with you. I actually really, really enjoyed it and admired it. So I think that was the main reason why a lot of people, that it blew up like he did, was his reaction to Sydney. His loss yes. of his stoicism is why people sensed weakness, they sensed blood in the water, and like sharks do, they pounce.